What's up, y'all? We're going to do a little outside video today. Let me unplug this phone. I'm going to be distracting guy already tell. All right, so if you can't tell by the thumbnail... <coughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, if you can't tell by the thumbnail, this is Boruto. Episode 165 review. Um, this, this episode... This episode is the turning point. This is the episode where things starts to shift for the greater good, in a sense. Um, let's get into it. So the episode starts with Mungino. He rises up. Um, it's like, nah. I was about to make like a death reference, like he rises up from the ashes or whatever. But no, he, he got up off the ground. He's he's done resting after um after them defeating Yuga, and um they continue on with their pursuit uh, to the um um to the to the pink haired Miss uh, Village Ninja. Um, so as they're running, um. We, in this episode, pretty much, we get the backstory of the, um, of the pink-haired Hayes Shinobi. So, pretty much, um, it flashes over to the two brothers that are left, which are Hiruga. Hiruga? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm saying his name right. Maybe wrong. Oh, well. Hiruga and Asaka. Um, they're both, uh, sitting under a tree, uh, taking a break, and, uh, Asaka comes over to Hiruga, and he lets him know to eat. He gives him a peach, and he lets him know, um, um... Well, uh, Hiruga lets Asaka know, I'm good, I, I don't really care to eat. Um, he, he's happy at the Hashirama sale, it's still in one piece. Um, Asaka lets him know, um, if you don't eat, you're going to uh, hinder the mission. So you, you have no choice but to eat, pretty much. And he wasn't, like, super rude or anything, but he let him know, like, dude, you're eating. So they sit down, and Hiruga begins to cut up the peach, but he cuts it into fours. And Asaka lets him know, like, yeah, you don't have to cut it into fours anymore. And that's where uh, the flashback for the brothers begin. Um... Um, it flashes back to the brothers, the four uh, brothers, they're, they're, they're quadruplets. Um, they're uh, hanging out in the woods. Not hanging out, but they're they're um, they're preparing to um, infiltrate the land of the silence so they can get the Hashirama cell. So they're inside the um, forest, like outside the border, I'm pretty sure, and they're discussing a mission. Um, at that moment, they're, um, they're, they're having their uh, meal, and um, Yo... What's his name? Is his name Yoruga? Yoruga? I think his name's Yoruga. Yoruga, I think he, he seemed like the youngest brother. He was like the more spunky one. Um, I, I believe he was the one that was cutting up the, uh, the peach this time. And uh, he let them know, like, no matter what, we'll always cut the peach in the forest. And, um, and um, he knew that he would be like, there's a specific order that the brothers go in to fulfill their mission um, once their uh, duty is uh, called upon, if you will. And um, Yoruga, he's the first of the mission. So he's really like, um, I guess that's why his personality is like that, where he's like really like spunky and just carefree in a way. But, um, he pretty much um, let, let let it be known that um, um, whenever they return home, there was this peach tree that um, whenever the mission is over and they return home from retrieving the uh, ashram cell, that there's this peach tree that um, that uh, the brothers uh, really like. I guess it's like this big peach tree, and he wants those. He wants all of the brothers to visit it whenever they get done with their mission. And he said, if uh, they if they all return home in one piece, and that's whenever Asaka lets him know, like, look, dude, you're gonna make it home in one piece. Don't worry about it. You're not even gonna like, have your turn. And um and um Yuru yo whatever Yuruga, I think that's his name. <laughs> he he's like, well, you don't know that. So flashes over to them infiltrating the um land of silence, and there's this barrier up. Asaka lets them know, like, look, um. If we if we get past this barrier, not only will, will we be discovered, but we'll die and uh, fit and we'll fail the mission. So uh, uh, Yoruga, knowing that it would be his turn, he stepped up to the plate and he did um, uh, um, uh, um, forbidden ninjutsu of the haze the same way uh, Yuga did. Except this jutsu was like um, the, 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 the 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 Rashomon type um, gate. It seemed like it literally um, opens up this weird uh, portal that I guess allows the user to pass through any bar any barrier undetected. So whenever um, so, um, whenever he activates the jutsu, he, like, shrivels up into, like, an old-ass man. And he's like, don't forget our promise, right? He says that to, um, Hiruga. And Hiruga, he's like, you know, I won't forget it. So, um, it flashes back to, um, the normal time. And, uh, you know what happened to Yuga. He got, he got killed in the last episode. So, that's, that's why there's two brothers left. Hiruga and Asaka. As As Asaka, he he's, like, the one that doesn't get called upon, um, I guess yet. Um, um, so, he's, like, the last, he's, like, the last of the brothers in the order, so... I guess he's the lucky one because he don't follow the same name pattern. But um, Team Seven, they they ended up catching up to um, they end up catching up to um, Hiruga and Asaka like randomly. Like uh, Hiruga and Asaka's like, damn, um, Yuga failed. So they 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 must have sensed that their brother died, and that's whenever Hiruga gave his airing to Asaka, told him to go on ahead, handle the mission. I got this one. Um, Asaka, he seems like the Sasuke of the group, like an Itachi, like the more like straightforward, stoic. You know what I mean? One like you know, um, like the Neji. And, um, except, like, whenever they get ambushed, um, he was, like, reluctant on actually leaving his brother behind. Like, I guess because it was the last brother. But the brother assured him, like, look, I'm going to make sure that the mission goes, um, goes as planned. So you go ahead and do your thing. Sorry, these bugs. So you go ahead and do your thing. Um, you go, you go do the thing. You go handle our mission, pretty much. So he goes and he does that. Um, leaving, uh, Hiruga behind. Hiruga, he, um, 
he activates immediately because the um, Haruga and Asaka uh, got slashed, but it, it turned out to be clones that 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 um, activated like a mist jutsu. And he immediately, once his uh, body was shown, he immediately activated his forbidden jutsu, just like his other two brothers. Except his forbidden jutsu was like um, it was like quicksand of the underworld, pretty much. Except instead of sand, picture nasty ass tentacles. It was like epic as hell. Hold on. It creates like this Cthulhu-like tentacles and goo that. Um, it, it sinks um, the user and the targets inside the goo. Um, and, 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 and Haruka kept saying, like, I'm going to drag you to the underworld and depths of the underworld. Like, they, they, they made it seem like these forbidden death jutsus were, like, like otherworldly, pretty much. And, and a part of me is starting to feel like they're not really otherworldly. Um, um, but let's just continue. So he's dragging them on. And this is whenever, um, this is whenever um, um, Team 7... Ah, I guess this whenever Takno Jutsu activates like the battle of Takno Jutsu, there was uh, Haruga saying like, yeah, you guys are going to die. I got you guys. You're trapped inside this, um, inside this goo that's going to sink you to the underworld. And Asaka, he's going to make it, um, he's going to make it um, to the village uh, before dawn. By the time you guys are sink, um, um, it will be dawn and I will be the sign that my brother made it, to, made it back home and the mission will be complete. So Haruga, he's really like adamant about sinking these dudes. Come to find out, well, Boruto, he goes to try to attack, like, oh, my, over my dead body. And once he did that, Serata, she's paying attention to the whole situation. She's like, dude, stop it. Because he, 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 he um, charged up her single. She's like, dude, stop it. Um, if you continue on with that, um, the closer you get to the target, the faster you shrink. And the more you use ninjutsu, you, 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 uh, the faster you shrink. So she noticed, well, Boruto and, well, she noticed that Boruto was shrinking at a um, faster, um, well, sinking at a faster um, time than, than the rest of Team 7. Um, so he's like, shit. So he deactivated his uh, Rasengan and he began to talk no jutsu um, um, back <laughs> to Haruga. Like those two began to have their, 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 their battle of words. And uh, Boruto uh, is like, you're not going to sink us. Haruga is like, I am. And Haruga begins to let him know um, that you would never understand um, what it's like to grow up. Um, hungry because he, he explained how the uh, Hayes village um, brought them in as orphans and they were literally on their last like breath like those like the kids was going to die like like kind of like Nagato and them like they were going to die the village brought them in fed them and gave them a purpose pretty much yeah kind of like uh, Haku too a lot, a, lot, a lot of these Naruto characters is, uh, the situation is like so they get brought in and um and um, and they're like you, you'll never understand because you're from a great nation. Um, people, uh, villages that, that that's not uh, or nations that's not of great nations get get the shorter end, shorter end of end of the stick, like always, pretty much. And that, and that opens Boruto's eyes. And, and this, this is like a big theme of this arc. Is like and not even of this arc, just like of Boruto in general, just showing um, the great nations to like the uh, lower nations, like how the great nations actually get um, benefits and, and and held at higher regard than than the lower nations. As you know, like Orochimaru created his own nation, so you know if you're not a great nation, you, you're pretty much nothing. I guess at the end of the day you're whatever you want to be um so it opens Boruto's eyes and that's whenever he begins his real talk no jutsu of um damn why are you trying to kill yourself because as they're shrinking uh Hiruga's coughing up blood and don't get me wrong Hiruga to me seemed like the, the most bitch of them all uh, excuse my language but it seemed like he don't really care to die like the other brothers were just like shit I don't give a fuck we dying in this bitch but him he's just like yeah he, he gave signs that he really didn't want to um he didn't really want to die in this episode. So, um, Boruto, he begins to let him know, like, dude, you don't have to die. Why are you trying to die? Why are you trying to die? Mungino, and, um, well, Mungino realizes that, hey, your, um, your Jutsu is, is nothing but a bluff. Whoa! Mungino, how did you know that? Um, pretty much Mungino said that, yeah, this Jutsu sinks everybody, but you're sinking at a way faster, um, time than everyone else. So you're going to actually sink before all of us. And he said, well, yeah, sure. But at the same time, my mission will be complete just like all of my other brothers' missions was complete because our missions all stood for a purpose, pretty much. So, you know, the first brother, uh, uh, Yuga, y y whatever. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go through all of this. Yuga's the second brother. Yuga had the golem. Y Yoruga had the gate of death. And this one has the quicksand of the underworld pretty much the Cthulhu tentacles bring you down to the uh, underworld so I am wondering what Asa uh, Asaka's uh, power is but um let's continue Boruto he, he's letting him know like look dude you don't have to die um 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 why don't you and your brothers uh find pretty much a purpose to live other than what the village is letting you know because the, the village pretty much saying you're a failure he's like nah I don't want to hear all of that um Haruga's like I really don't want to hear all of that but Haruga's secretly listening you can tell he's like bratty and he really don't want to die that, that's the signs of him really not want to die he's like really entertaining the conversation and he's like oh you just don't want to uh feel bad for uh letting me die here pretty much so you're, you're you, you you can save your pity I don't want I don't want that pretty much but I'm like yeah why are you even saying that pretty much but whatever I'm not <laughs> I'm not I'm not um I'm not uh, glorifying, I guess, suicide. But, um, yeah, 
Boruto, he's letting him know, like, look, dude, you, you, like, you don't have to let your brother uh, live on his own. Um, you can live with him, too. And your other brothers can live on through you, pretty much. He's giving off those type of vibes. As he's doing that, a moi pops up, and he's like, huh, holy shit, I made it free. Huh. And, he's, and, he, and he's wrestling on the tree, and then I know the tree get knocked over, and, and uh, Conan was like, a moi is you. Don't walk over here because you're going to get chopped inside the pit. And Moi's like, holy shit, what's going on here? And they explain to him, like, yeah, um, these are these guys who got the ashram sale, whatever, whatever. And Moi's like, holy shit, you wouldn't say. Because um, Deepa, the guy who killed my subordinates and beat the shit out of me and look, made me look like a straight pussy, um, he's actually on his uh, way, the, the, the shortest route um, to uh, the Hayes Village Ninja because my subordinates uh, ride you guys out. So um, uh, Hiruka's like, holy shit, you're saying he's on his way to my brother? He's like, yeah, he said uh, he knows the shortest route pretty much. He, <laughs> he didn't say that, but yeah, he knows the shortest route to your brother. Your brother's fucked. Um, rethink your plan pretty much. So Hiruka's like, holy shit, I know you're not, uh, uh, he's pretty much like saying like, uh, you're bluffing, whatever. They're like, well, call my bluff. And he's like, oh, I can't really do that because Boruto's like, how about you go see your brother in, pur in person? So he's like, at that moment, he released the juice, which I'm like, how the fuck did you release the juice? Your brother instantly shriveled up like a fucking sponge and the other brother, uh, he turned into the golem and there was no sign of him coming back, like, at all. Like, I doubt it. Like, I, I know there was no way for him to release that technique. So how the fuck did you release your technique? Maybe that's the reason why you didn't care to that because you knew you was going to be able to release your technique. But he released the technique and he said, I don't trust you guys. Well, when he released the technique, the goo actually turned to stone dentures. He, like, crumbled away, exploded, and just left his big-ass crater in, in the forest and trees knocked over. But he, he um, let them know, like, I don't trust you guys. I'm just, th this is just until I figure out if my brother's safe. So he ran off to go chase after, I guess, Deepa or go find his brother while Deepa's chasing after his brother. Hopefully, Deepa doesn't catch up. Don't, don't see him running after him and then kill him and then go kill his brother. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm yanking my camera. I forgot I'm out of my tripod. Hopefully... Hopefully I didn't do that a couple times in this video. But hopefully uh, Deepa doesn't catch up to him or he doesn't catch up to Deepa before he catches up to his brother. Because I'm pretty sure they got some type of team technique that will help them at least both get away. Then, then you know, because according to Amoy, no, no physical attacks or any form of ninjutsu. Any form of ninjutsu who works on Deepa, so I'm just like, yeah, okay. But if we're t if we're if we're saying if, if we're going by what he said and and, and it's true, then uh, yeah, those two brothers need to uh, be careful because I'm pretty sure um, Hiruga's gonna catch up to Asaka in no time. He probably got some type of radar on his brother to wait him quadruplets work, and um, he knows where he lives, so he'll know the shortest route back home. He leaves. Um, uh, what happens at the end? What happens at the end. Team. He leaves. Team 7, I know they were talking, like, damn, good job, I can't believe we made it out. I'm pretty sure that they chased, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that they finished their chase. I'm pretty sure they let, um, they let Hiruga go on ahead, and maybe they're gonna do some recon shit, like, follow behind him, travel behind him, because they'll be able to see him see Deepa beating the shit out of his brother, because I'm pretty sure Deepa's gonna catch up to his brother, or gonna see the technique, Deepa's probably gonna allow his brother to kill himself, or kill him, or be, like, his brother be on the verge of death through, like, fighting him, and that's when the other brother will probably appear, and then Team 7 will be watching the two brothers do some type of secret technique, or whatever the fuck, to try to stop Deepa, which would not have a 10 fail, because Deepa said, ah, it's time to let, show, he, he said, uh, the, 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 the Hayes Ninja need to stay in their place, or something like that, like, that they're literally nothing. So, um, this is getting interesting. I'm pretty sure that uh, Team 7 is going to actually save the Hayes Ninja, which is probably going to create some type of bond alliance, you know, for Boruto and Hayes, which will be team, uh, the, 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 the Leaf Village and Hayes, which probably help, um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end game. Like, literally, the Hayes and the Leaf Village is going to have some type of uh, union where the Leaf Village is going to uh, give a lot of resources to the Hayes probably when they're down bad. I think that's what it, the end all be all is going to be. But I'm not going to rush ahead. We we got a chase going on, and a chase that may lead to some deaths. And I know it's going to lead to at least one. I know Deepa got to die. But there's, I'm pretty sure it's going to lead to a couple deaths. Um, will it be of Team 7? No, because if you read the manga, you wouldn't know that. Um, but... Yeah, I didn't mean to spoil it. No one's going to die. But they may get mortally wounded. They may get wounded beyond belief, you know, so... Uh, check out 166. I know it's out already. Um, I'm going to probably record the review tonight and upload it tomorrow. Who knows? Um, but it was good. It was good talking to you guys. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's have a uh, discussion in the comment section. Um, do you think that Deepa will kill the brothers? Do you think the brothers will kill Deepa? Do you think... Team 7 will kill all of them. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think about those episodes, though. They're, they're, they're heating up. They're, I, I like where we're going, especially for um, non-canon episodes. But just like um, the, 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 the Fire Prison release arc, it can lead into canon. Usually all anime usually lead into canon. So don't be surprised it leads into canon. But later, guys. Have a great day. Bye.